I'm getting set up. We're going to be doing a 30-minute cardio workout today. So no equipment is needed for this. We're just going to keep moving our bodies. If you can't do an exercise, don't worry about it. Just keep moving, step in place. There's always an alternative. Every single that you're taking to improve is all going to benefit you in the long run. So we want to make sure that we just keep on moving for 30 minutes. If you can move for 30 minutes a day, that's going to help you so much in your fitness journey. Um, don't worry about intensity. We will get there. And the more that you move, the more comfortable you're going to become with moving. I know this happened to me myself because in the beginning, I wasn't comfortable doing jogging. I wasn't comfortable doing sit-ups or push-ups or any kind of physical activity. So I was having a hard time just going up and down my stairs. So I just kept on moving, pushing through the uncomfortableness. If you're on my um, Facebook, then I posted a quote saying, moving, even though it might be uncomfortable, small changes will have a huge benefit. And I truly believe that because that's how I got to where I am today. And that's where I'm gonna get to, how I'm going to get to be where I want to be in the future. It's small, little adjustments. Because we know how to, it's like Misty says, we know how to lose weight fast. But maintaining the weight loss and living a lifestyle that we can be proud of and that we can maintain, that is the tricky part. So. Let's get to it. 60, um, not 60 minutes, 30 minutes of just moving. I'm going to be back here. So I hope that y'all can hear me. Hi, welcome to Keto Mama. I've lost about 90 to 100 pounds trying to maintain this in that area. And I've been doing the low carb lifestyle and increasing my physical activity. So I want to help anyone out there who is on the weight loss journey. And let's do it. There's modifications for everybody. The point of this workout, again, is just to keep moving our bodies. If you can't do something, just step in place. You know, I keep seeing a lot of comments, oh, I can't do that. Well, just try. Make it a little bit harder as time goes on, and you'll get there. I wasn't here overnight. and um, you know, I definitely think that you can get there. So just keep on trying. All right. There's going to be 15 exercises, 45 seconds. We're just going to go from one to the other. So if you need a break in between, you know, get a break, get, drink some water. I'll let you know when we're towards the end. And if you need to take like a 10, 15 second break in between them, definitely do that. I'm not a doctor. I'm just doing what I do for my physical activity. Um, based on Sydney Cummings' program, and so whatever break you need, if something feels like it's hurting instead of just sore, make sure you definitely stop and don't push yourself further than you can and consult the doctor um, if you have any medical conditions first. All right, now we're going to step out to the side, kind of like a stationary jumping jack.
If you can, don't jump right there. So if you can't, stay right there. All right, we're going to cross our arms over our chest. We're going to start it up with some lateral slides. So, you can get lower quicker. Do it. If you're low impact, go here. No equipment needed. You can do it anywhere. It's a good workout to take with you. When you're traveling, you don't have equipment, you don't have space, bring it right here. Again, slow it down, take the hop out if you need to. All right. We're integrating a little quad stretch. All right, now we're going to go into inchworm. So you're going to walk it out, walk it back in. Go as far as you can. Again, push yourself, but don't hurt yourself. So inchworm out, inchworm back. Inchworm out, inchworm back. Walk it out and hold your plank. Ten seconds. Drop your hips down. All right, now these are kind of going to be a little bit slowed down mountain climbers. You're going to go into a plank, pull your stomach in. And tap your toe in the middle. Just keep on moving. 30 minutes. You're doing great. Shoulders up your elbows. Okay, feel free to tap your knee. Tap your knee for an added chest. All right, then we're going to go glute bridge and sit up. All right, I got my towel. If you have an exercise mat, go glute bridge, pull in your glutes, down, sit up. Stay here. 
15 seconds left. No butts up in the air. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, this one, we're crunching in the middle. So we're doing straight leg toe touches. Crunch in the middle, arms above your head. You want to make it more challenging? You can add a hop in there. Otherwise, we can hear for a little bit. I kind of like this one better. I feel it more if my abs crunch together if I slow it down. So. Makes me feel like I have more ab control. All right. Now we're doing lunge and twist. So. One good down, twist. Back up, one, twist. Can add another twist? Doing great. All right. We're going to do side kicks now. We're going to do first to the right and then to the left. <laughs> Whichever side you prefer. But we're going to do one side and exercise and then on the other side. So here we go. Lean over to the side. You can add a punch in there if you want. Man, I'll tell you, I did a karate class with my daughter last week for Mother's Day. I thought I was in shape. Those kids put me to shame. Whew. Your leg up as high as you can in that kick. That was not a good one. But I just keep going. Keep moving. You got this. So now we're going into lateral lunges. You know, try to touch your toes. Hips are staying back. We're doing lateral movement. Side to side. That's lateral. You want to step it up and add a little skip in there. You can. I'm just going to keep it here. Keep it moving. All right, now we're going to the other side on our kicks. Grab your water. Sorry, I have to keep checking. I have Zachary with me today, being a good boy. Beautiful day. Great to get him outside, off the tablets. And with this one, you can add a hop into it. You can add it to the other ones too, but. 
trying to keep moving. 30 minutes. I'm not the most flexible person ever. So some of these things are still really challenged. But still working on that flexibility, so. All right, now we're doing butt kicks. So it is just like it sounds. You're kicking your butt. If you're watching this video and you're kicking your butt for not doing it, start right now. Going about halfway through the workout, so come on. Start it over. Let's do it. No time like the present. You got this. You're doing low impact in here. There's a way everybody can get involved. All right, now we're going to high knees. So high knees, similar to butt tips, but you're going out front, bringing your knee up. If you're doing low impact, keep driving here, march to a march. If you can do high knees here, Get it. Let's go. Doing awesome. We all have a goal. Let's visualize it. Do it together. Two more exercises, then we're halfway done. We're headed back to the top. We'll be halfway done. Awesome job. All right, next up, we're doing lunges. So you can do a regular lunge, walking lunges. Or if you can't do all the way to go down all the way to the lunge, step out, go as far as you can, step back. Or if you can't do any lunges, do a side step. There's a modification for everyone. So I want everyone to get involved as much as they can. This way, maybe. This is a rest time, this is a movement time. All right, now we're going to lateral slides again. Again, if you need to take the hop out, the skip out, just do side to side. So all we're trying to accomplish here you want to add a side club. Thirty second rest after this.
going back up to the top. You guys are doing awesome. Great job. Exactly, you're still in the unit. Lateral. There's two laterals in the row. But we're just keeping moving. 30 minutes. Movement. Ten seconds. Woo. All right, walking lunges. We're going in the reverse direction this time. So we did our lateral slides, our lateral slides, and now we're doing our walking lunges again. Stop and breathe. Don't stop and leave. As you see the old says, we're going to finish this. We're going to do this. we got about 13 minutes left. Keep on moving, whatever you can do. You're going to feel great after you completed this workout. You're going to say, I did it. I did it. Do that every time you do one. I did it. I can do it. All right, now we're going back up to high knees. Or if you were marching, you're here. Or you're going high knees. Next week, I'm starting the summertime fine program. So I'll be showing you little workouts here and there of summertime fine. I've been trying to focus on cardio workouts. This month, because it's a steps challenge. So, hope oh, my teammates are in there getting their steps, doing these workouts. Y'all are crushing it. You're doing a great job. If you need a break, take it down, get a drink of water. We're going to the buckets. All right, you don't need a break. Let's go straight in. Kicking your butt. I have been having a little bit of problems with my ankle. <coughs> when it bothers me, I just do a low impact. I'm still moving though. I hope you are too. <laughs> Seven seconds to rest or keep on moving. <laughs> All right. Into the next one. We're doing our side kicks again. Make sure you're breathing. You're doing great. All right, if you want to rest, rest. If you want to keep going, keep going. All right, now we're doing our laterals, toe touches. Yeah. 
But again, if you need to slow it down, you can slow it down. Go as far as you can go without hurting yourself. The body in motion stays in motion. Remember that. If you need to take a break here, grab a drink of water, finishing up this exercise, moving on to the other side of the queue. Three, kids, five. All right, we're going back to the kicks. Other side. Whew, losing my form. All right. Next, we have lunge and twist. All right, lunge and twist. Just one side, you can do both sides. Take your time. Focus on your balance. Keep breathing. Keep going. All right, keep going if you want. All right, we're going back to our toe taps. Bend into the middle. It's kind of like doing a leg raise on the ground. Keep your abs folded. Touch your toe. Breathe. Keep breathing. Keep going if you want. We're going to go into bear crawls next. You only have three exercises left, I think. We're getting there. We're almost to the end. All right, we're going to the bear crawl. Yeah, that was 
Sloppy Bridge. I'm just going to refocus. I'm going to go with my sit up. You need an adjustment for a sit up. You can use your arms. Swing. I'm not always the best at posting before I'm going to post. 
So hit that bell icon so you know when someone's coming. Yeah, sticker. You know that doubt creeps into your mind, and it says maybe, maybe I can do it. But you gotta talk to that voice in your head, tell it that that's not true. If you want to try a little bit more progression, getting into this, go there. Try to go there. You can always go back down. If you're doing stationary and you think, maybe I can add a hop. Add the hop. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you have to go back down. And that's not the end of it. And I'll be off as long as you're here, doing the movements, keeping your body moving. That's the important part. Not doing this exercise is just right. Not doing everything that I'm exactly doing. But doing what is making you and you and driving you. Alright, we're starting to bring it down. Stretching out. Go to the side. Stretch it out. Woo! Make sure that you're getting a nice cool down, a nice stretch. Thank you so much for joining me. Ooh. All right, spin your arms. Reach over to the side. Work is not easy. Getting to your goals is not easy. But it's so rewarding when you hit a goal, when you accomplish something, even if it's just finishing a workout, even if it's just getting out of your bed during the day. But I promise you, doing the workout and getting into it is the hardest part. Now that you've made it here, you know you can do anything. Ugh. Bend forward. Bend forward. Yeah. All right, now we've stretched our arms to the side. Stretch to the other side. Stretch out our back a little bit. Stretch it out to the front. To the side. So any of these ex any of these stretches that you need to do a little bit more. Do one of these. Yeah. All right, roll your ankles, roll your wrists. Bring your head down. All right. And that is our second workout of the week. So if you did both of them, I really appreciate it. If you watched both of them, I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you next time. What do you think, Zach? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you guys are all doing great. No matter where you are. Zachary, please stop. Come here. Say hi. He was such a little good buddy. Did you play? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. And we were outside, right? Yeah. Getting some fresh air. Now, getting some sunlight. Now I put me on swing. Now I'm going to go push him on the swing. Woo! All right, so with that being said, I hope that you guys will share this with all your friends, and um, I'm always down for a collaboration. If anyone wants to come on and do a workout with me, do a cooking video with me, do an interview with me, um, definitely let me know. Instagram is probably the best place to get in contact with me for that. Um, and I will hope to see you guys next time. Give it a big thumbs up. Make some healthy decisions. Get some rest. Recharge. And I'll see you next week.
for summertime. Bye. The workouts that started it all in my fitness journey. You know, I started out walking a little bit on the bike path, but when I was ready to get into a little bit more and kind of not knowing what I was doing and I was at home because I wasn't feeling comfortable about going to the gym, the summertime fine workouts really helped me. It's 13 weeks. You get a really good full body composition workout. Each day is something different. I'll probably keep it to more cardio stuff just because um, it's easier for me to film at home. So um, I'm trying to also be cognizant of that people might not feel great about going to the gym like I did. And they might not have a ton of weights at home. So if it's a lighter weight workout like we did on Monday, then I might do that. Or cardio workout, then I might do that. Um, but it's a really great program, so keep watching the channel, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep commenting, and let your friends know. Come on here and check it out. Be part of the Keto Mama Squad, and um, I'll have some food videos, what I eat in a week. I'm going to do some grocery hauls, so we're going to get it pumping in here and, and uh, live the healthiest life we can live so we can live the longest life that we can live. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Love you, everybody. Keep it healthy. Make smart decisions. And have a great day.